Studies show that once the desire to acquire begins, one never turns back, no matter the consequences. What time did you say we should be here? 7.30. And what time's it now? Seven twenty-four. Nice gaff. Did you say his name? And what he wants for this? Raul, give me this. Mr. Wall invites you to a night of festive poker. <laughs> So his name's Mr. Wall. No, it'd be a pseudonym. A what? A student, a false name. Hmm. I've never played poker before. That's why I've been teaching you, Ben. All you have to remember is that a royal flush is the best hand you can get. And that's the 10, the J, the Q, the K, and the A. Seven twenty-six. Let's just go in. It's fucking freezing. No, he said seven thirty, so we'll arrive at seven thirty. What else do you have to remember? Not to call you Arnie. Yeah, only refer to me as prizes. Prizes. And your pets. Why the fuck do I have to be the animal? You think we'll make a lot of money from this, Mr. Wall guy? I think so. Time's it now? 7.28. Three of a kind. Royal flush. Okay, I'm gonna deal the next round. Don't look so down, Mr. Prizes. You may well win this round. We've got a long way to get here, Mr. Wall. You didn't say we'd be using our own money. I've lost a lot this evening. Now, if you're not going to tell us why you invited uh, us. It's your turn, Mr. Prizes. Cool. Uh, nah. I'm out. Uh, Fold. Raise by 50. 100. Raise your 100. Cool. Time to reveal your cards. King pair. Four of a kind. Oh, he's wasting our time. Why did you even invite us here? So you can enjoy beating us at this rigged game. Rigged, Mr. Prizes? Please don't accuse me of cheating. There's nothing rigged about this. It's all about love. Yeah. I'm having fun. You haven't lost nearly a grand. No, yeah, that's because I'm not stupid enough to gamble big when I haven't got a hand. You can stop playing if you want. What the fuck are we even here for? I need you to do something for me, boys. That's Goldsmith's bank. What do you want us to do there? You're going to rob it. So this bullshit is just you toying with us. I had to see if I liked you guys. We aren't interested in working with a fucking television presenter. I thought I knew you from somewhere. I'll let Raul know it didn't work out. Tennis shopping. No. Let's go. Raul said you're the best around. We are. In it to win it. That's where I know you from. You're damn fucking winter. Pets. 75 grand each. That's what you'd make. Each. Go 
Goldsmith's Bank holds £350,000. £250,000 is old money. Untraceable. So what's your plan? There are two guards at Goldsmith Bank. Every day, at midday, one of them goes for lunch across the road to the cafe. And while he's eating his bacon sandwich, that's when you strike. No weapons. Quick and clean. You take the guard's bat on and get out of there before anybody realise what's happened. What's in it for you? 75 grand. Who wouldn't want that kind of money? Someone who doesn't want to spend 10 years behind bars. Actually, it's only five if it's not armed robbery. You ain't lost it up there, have you? No, I'm perfectly fine. But thank you, your concern is noted. So why is prison then? It is fascinating. Everybody wants to be bloody famous. Sign the autographs, take the photo, make the money. But it all disappears at one point or another. Don't underestimate me, Mr Clifford. And the same for you, Mr Richards. I know you both need the money. You wouldn't be here otherwise. Oh, boys, one thing before you go. I can't be doing 20 years inside. So don't be fucking idiots. What the fuck was that? Where's the gun? Marnie, where's the gun? Where is the car? It's an old car! It's an old car! It's working this morning! A female civilian has been shot dead during a daylight robbery at Goldsmiths Bank. <laughs> That you want me to <laughs>